at 11, a big surprise in a nearly decade-old murder case. Carmen Barahona takes a deal with prosecutors and pleads guilty to her daughter's murder. The death of Nubia Barahona and the near death of her twin brother, Shock South Florida, and the nation. And now as part of her plea deal, Carmen will testify against her husband when he goes to trial. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live at the Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Institution in West Miami-Dade, where Barahona is being held tonight. Hank. Well, Ruta Bay, this is one of those stories that every time you heard about it, it got worse. It was incredible, but today it was a stunner at the courthouse. Let's take a look. The photos are deceiving. They appear to be happy times for the Barahona family, their adopted kids, Victor and Nubia. But what's really going on was dark, horrific. Prosecutors accused Carmen Barahona and her husband of the 2011 torture and murder of Nubia and the torture and the abuse of her brother, Victor. It can't get any worse than this. Some of the atrocities that we see here are just, uh, they're heartbreaking. For example, this from Victor's foster mother. That his father used to pour hot sauce on in his ears, eyes, nose, and mouth. His dad, his father, made him eat a cockroach. Nine years ago, Nubia's body was found in the back of her father's pesticide truck on the side of I-95 West Palm Beach. Her twin brother, Victor, found in the cab of the truck, suffering seizures and had severe chemical burns. So with that background, fast forward nine years, court this day. Sixty-nine-year-old Carmen Barahona in front of a judge entering a guilty plea for the torture and murder of her adopted daughter, Nubia. The child was 10 when investigators say her adoptive father, George, beat her to death in 2011. Now, at this time, you're entering a plea of guilt to all counts in the indictment that apply to you. Is that your understanding? She will have to spend her life in prison and testify against her husband. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News Tonight. Back to you.